So with regards to your announcement, I believe you've all got a copy of the, um, the announcements and the, um, the handouts for this week. There's nothing really on there with regards to announcement. We've all heard about Darwin's death. Um, <coughs> there doesn't seem to be anything else. So I will now post it by going to the presentation um, and I'll start playing the presentation. Okay, we'll meet you all and then we'll see you when the church is finished. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from heaven, you that live in the heights above. Praise him, all his angels, all his heavenly armies. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, shining stars. Praise him, highest heavens and the waters above the sky. Let them all praise the name of the Lord. He commanded and they were created. By his command they were fixed in their places forever and they cannot disobey. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea monsters and all ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, strong winds that obey his command. Praise him, hills and mountains, fruit trees and forests, all animals, tame and wild, reptiles and birds. Praise him, kings and all peoples, princes and all other rulers, girls and young men, old people and children too. Let them all praise the name of the Lord. His glory is greater than all others. His glory is above earth and heaven. He made his nation strong so that all his people praise him, the people of Israel, so dear to him. Praise the Lord.
The first reading is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And the second reading is Mark chapter 6, reading verses 30 to 34. The apostles gathered round Jesus and reported to him all that they had done and taught. Then, because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaving recognised them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. Our gospel reading today was the introduction to the feeding of the 5,000. And the lectionary invites us to pause before going on to the bigger story. To put the reading in its context, Mark tells us that Jesus sent out the 12 disciples to proclaim the good news of the kingdom. And then whilst they're away, he tells us of the death of John the Baptist. And now, in the reading, the 12 return. So when they get back, there's a lot to be discussed. What's happened while they're away, the political situation, lots to discuss. But there's no time, Mark tells us. There's so much coming and going, people coming to Jesus with questions, people coming to Jesus for healing, that there's no time even to eat. <clears throat> so they try to slip away. They try to slip away by boat to a lonely place to spend quality time together. But if you've ever tried to slip away from a crowd, you'll know it's not easy and they're spotted. And then what happens next is quite incredible. Mark says, from all the towns, people ran around the shore to get to their destination before the boat did. Now that means people ran to the towns told the people in the towns and the people in the towns dropped everything and ran because the boat's going roughly in a straight line, even if it's tacking, it would get there before them. But they beat it. Pause for a moment and think. Imagine what that's like. The chaos of it. Now put yourself in the boat. You've gone to a quiet place to be on your own together. And you arrive and there's a crowd waiting for you. How does that feel? But Jesus reacts with compassion. For he sees them as sheep 
without a shepherd. One of the things that always amuses us when we're walking around the hills of this country is watching the sheep. They're very strange creatures. <laughs> they follow each other. <coughs> they get stuck in thickets. They'll go for that blade of green grass that's out of reach. Stick their heads through a fence to get to it. or climb down the cliff's side to get to it and then discover they can't get back up again. This crowd is a bit like that. I wonder how many of them knew why they were running. What they were running to. When I started to think about this, I started to think about our society today. And I think that we're sheep without a shepherd as a society. Chasing after ideas, chasing after individual happiness, chasing after that little piece of Goodness, happiness. Happiness seems to be the, the, the God, doesn't it? That little bit that's out of reach. Chasing after um, social media influences, influencers. Anyone that might make us that little bit better, bit, a bit happier, a bit more money. And I wonder what our response to that as a church is. Do we grumble and complain or do we see them, see our society as sheep without a shepherd? Jesus's reaction is to sit down with them and teach and to spend so long doing it that everybody gets hungry. So they need feeding, not just with spiritual food, but with physical food. So as a church, we need to give our society its shepherd. Are we up for that task? We're going to sing a hymn be Thou My Vision. And after 16 months of Zoom, you'd think I'd be able to choose a video with words, but I forgot. So if you don't know the words, listen. If you do know them, join in. Be Thou My Vision.
Let us pray. To God the Father, who created the world. To God the Son, who redeemed the world. To God the Spirit, who sustained the world. Be all praise and glory, now and forever. Everlasting God, we pray for all our church family, that they may be enabled to renew their relationship with you and may find in you rest, peace, strength, grace, and most of all, your abiding presence. Help us as a congregation to be outward looking and that through our fellowship, we may share our faith and the gospel of your son, Jesus Christ, with those we love and live amongst. We pray for the many plans that are being made as we begin to ease out our way out of COVID restrictions. Give us wisdom, Lord, to know what it is you would have us do. Help us to see and meet the needs of this community where you have placed us. Give us vision, Lord. Provide what is needed so that what we do will be fruitful and bring glory to you. Creator God, we pray for the people of our world who are less fortunate than we are especially those who live in third world countries where there is very little government stability and in countries where there is drought, famine and where there is a shortage of COVID vaccine. Help us to remember those who are weary with relentless struggle to keep alive. For those we can never look forward for those who can never look forward to a good meal and a comfortable bed, and those who barely have the necessities of life, things we so often take for granted. We thank you for those who work, sustains our country. Lord, we pray today, especially for teachers and staff, as they have come to the end of the academic year. We thank you for their commitment over this past year and ask that you grant them rest, fun and laughter so they may be restored, renewed and replenished. Healing God, we raise before you those who are sick we ask that you ease their pain and heal the damage done to them in body, mind and spirit. Be present with them through the support of friends and in the care of doctors and nurses. Fill them with the warmth of your love now and always. Merciful God, we command, commend into your hands all those we have who we have loved and now lost. Faithful God, we dedicate all these people and petitions into your loving care. Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
God's Spirit is in my heart. He has called me and set me apart. This is what I have to do. What I have to do. He sent me to give the good news to the poor. Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more. Tell blind people that they can see and set the downtrodden free. And go tell everyone the news that the kingdom of God has come. And go tell everyone the news that God's kingdom has come Just as the Father sent me So I'm sending you out to be My witnesses throughout the world The whole of the Send me to give the good news to the poor Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more Tell blind people that they can see And set the downtrodden free And go tell everyone The news that the kingdom of God has come And go God's kingdom has come Don't carry a load in your pack You don't need two shirts on your back God's workers can earn their own keep Can earn their Send me to give the good news to the poor Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more Tell blind people that they can see And set the downtrodden free And go tell everyone The news that the kingdom of God has come And go tell everyone that God's kingdom has come Don't worry what you have to say Don't worry because on that day God's spirit will speak in your hearts Will speak in your Send me to give the good news to the poor Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more Tell blind people that they can see And set the downtrodden free And go tell everyone The news that the kingdom of God has come And go tell everyone God's kingdom has come He sent me to give the good news to the poor Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more Tell blind people that they can see And set the downtrodden free And go tell everyone The news that the kingdom of God has come and go tell everyone the news that God's kingdom has
So I pray that wherever you are today, whatever is happening in your life, May you turn to the eternal one. And may the eternal one bless you and keep you. May the eternal one look on you with grace and mercy. May the eternal one acknowledge you and give you peace. Amen.